You've probably heard of Students for Justice in Palestine, the virulently anti-Semitic campus organization created by UC Berkeley professor Dr. Hatem Bazian. But you might not have heard about Bazian's other organization, American Muslims for Palestine, or AMP. AMP was founded in 2006 and has become one of the leading groups providing anti-Zionist training and education to students and anti-Israel activists. AMP's goal is the destruction of the State of Israel. It aims to achieve this by influencing American society in four key areas. University campus activism, lobbying Congress, influencing left-wing intersectional politics, and turning American Jews against Israel. AMP has made significant efforts to support and coordinate anti-Israel activity on campuses, mainly through their support of SJP chapters. We're helping SJPs and MSAs nationwide in bringing Palestine to U.S. campuses. AMP is arguably the leading BDS organization in the U.S. It is a key sponsor of the anti-Israel campus network known as Students for Justice in Palestine, or SJP. Part of AMP's campus strategy is training anti-Israel activists to take political action. At its annual Palestine Advocacy Day, activists meet with members of Congress and their staff. Now AMP is in D.C. establishing roots establishing a uh, political uh, influence here in the United States. We have to get involved in this country and influence them. We have to influence Congress. AMP has attempted to position itself as an integral part of left-wing intersectional politics. AMP have now begun to infiltrate Jewish-based organizations, such as Jewish Voice for Peace and If Not Now. A new broad coalition is coming, is coming together. If Not Now is an important piece of the puzzle. The leadership of far-left Jewish group If Not Now has encouraged AMP to not only provide training of its members, but even to work in full partnership. This includes Naveen Ayesh, who called being Jewish a crime worthy of the rope. Tahir Herzala, who celebrated violence against Israeli Jews. And Hatem Bazian, who called for violent uprising in the USA. And it's about time that we have an intifada in this country that shares fundamentally the political dynamics in here. At the same time that AMP attempted to influence American opinion, their leaders and members have not held back their hatred of Jews and the state of Israel. They have called for the murder of Jews, expressed support for terrorists, shared conspiracy theories, and even spread white supremacist propaganda. The following is just a small sample of the violent anti-Semitic statements made by AMP leaders and activists. Osama Abora Shaid, AMP National Director and Board Member. The cultural infiltration also includes the Zionist influence in the media. They have a significant impact on the media, as well as on Hollywood. Naveen Ayesh, Executive Director, AMP Missouri. Never trust a Jew. I want to personally set Israel and all the Israelis in it on fire and watch them burn to ashes. Burn, you bastards. Mohammed Haba, Director of Community Outreach, AMP, New Jersey. Who said Arabs are trained to hate Jews? What we have towards them is natural. These Pakis are more gassed up than a Jew in Nazi Germany. Lena Youssef, AMP Chicago activist. I believe in Holocaust, one of my fave parts of history. Remember Hitler? He should have finished them all. Tahir Herzala, Associate Director of Outreach and Grassroots Organizing. What if, as Muslims, we wanted to establish an Islamic State? Is that wrong? What if, as Muslims, we wanted to use violent means to resist occupation? Is that wrong? 
Hatem Bazian, Chairman and AMP Founder. The Jewish nation is the central myth of Zionism. It needs to be dismantled. AMP seeks to turn university campuses, Congress, left-wing activists, and far-left Jews against Israel. At the same time, its leaders spread vile anti-Semitism, share neo-Nazi propaganda, and call for violence against Jews. AMP is anti-Semitic to its core. To find out more about AMP and their partnership with If Not Now, visit canarymission.org slash AMP If Not Now.